Bastian Bourgeois and Axel Pes Pesic. Axel just came out of the pen. Axel, tell us a little bit about your run today. C'était un, c'est pour moi la première fois que je rentre dans les Jeux Castres Mondiaux et c'était vraiment exceptionnel. C'était un run fantastique. That uh, the first time for him for the World Extreme Games. That was incredible for him. He was really excited to get in. Um, he, he had an amazing run. He's really thankful for the horse because he was there and he's really happy. Awesome. So this is the same horse that you won the uh, FEI World Championships last year on, correct? C'est le même cheval avec que tu as gagné. Oui, c'était. J'ai gagné il y, a, il y a un an les les championnats du monde junior FEI avec Sparky et c'est vraiment un cheval exceptionnel et depuis ce temps-là on n'arrête pas de. So yes, that the same horse that he, he won last year the FEI and they keep uh, knowing each other better and better show after show and yeah the. They got a really good combination, so he fits really good with the horse and he loves him. Now you've moved from the non-pro into the open riding, correct? T'es passé de non-pro à open. Ouais, je sais pas quoi dire, c'est ça. <laughs> bah euh, oui, cette année, depuis le depuis mois de janvier, je suis euh, devenu professionnel en France et en Europe. Yes, since the beginning of the year, he switched from non-pro to open. Uh, now he's 18 years old and he's start to get his own business in France, so that's why. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about how you made the transition from non-pro to open. Explique un peu plus ta transition entre non-pro et open. Bah pour moi, qui est connu, je suis connu dans le monde du reining français. Du coup, pour moi, ça a été assez facile de m'intégrer parmi les open et rentrer dans la catégorie open. Okay, he said that he's already known by a lot of people in French when he was a non-pro, he knows all the open French rider and he just get, went really well when he, he just came an open rider and get his place really fast. Sounds like a plan. Great job. Congratulations on the run today and good luck in the rest of the competition. Thank you. Bastien Bourgeois, how did it feel out there in the pen today? It was pretty cool. It was my first time showing in the US, so I was pretty excited and Really enjoy it. Uh, I try to keep the control all the way around, and it's pretty what I did, I think. It's not enough point for me because uh, 216 and a half, and I think we will need a 220 to go straight in the finals. I think around this this course. So yeah, a little bit disappointed of the score, but not disappointed of my horse. He, he was okay. I know him. That's a big arena, a lot of changing, taking the plane, coming here, a lot of people, a lot of pressure. So, no, it was fine. I mean, we will see tomorrow if I am in the consolation run to try to get a, stop, a, st a spot in the final. Awesome. So, um, what do you think about the venue around here? The? The venue? The facilities? The, the facilities, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny because everything is in construction still. Nothing is done. So, I think that's a little bit of shame because coming so far and not everything done yet, that's what I mean. Everything is okay for the horses, for the riders, anything to complain, but it's like you're coming in something not finished. Uh, but everything for the horses are perfect, the ground is perfect, the stables are perfect, everything is perfect. Just I think the look around, you know, for the public and everything is not completely done. It's, it's like kind of funny. Maybe we can come back in four years if they want to, to do it here again and be, everything will be done. <laughs> so, but it's a really nice place. Awesome. So, congratulations, or sorry about your run today. Good luck tomorrow, and hopefully, we'll see you again in the competition. Yeah, hopefully, we'll see you on Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Matthew Bouton, what a run today. So, tell us how does this run compare to different runs that you've made? Um, there was a couple of things that was happier around the end. He was really good. He was waiting for me on the run down. We just got to know each other a little bit more. You know, I still think I can get him to turn around a little bit better, but you know, he kind of went out there and it was a little too quiet, but I kept him quiet before I went in. And then I loped off and like, all right, let's go. Let's just give all we have. He was, he was incredible. That little horse gave me all he had today. I could not be more proud of him. That was the day he needed to be with me. I tried to stay on paddy, I did my job, instead of the penalty box. The crowd was unbelievable. That gives you goosebumps when you're out there and give you wings, you know, when you feel like you're in trouble. It's like, ah, it's just one more point. Let's go get another point. He was phenomenal. I mean, he's a, he's a dream of a horse. And you know, the owner just came here. I know you interviewed him before. They saw him for the first time over here. 
It's just, uh, I'm so happy to do that in front of them. It's, it's incredible. Awesome answer. So go ahead and compare this pin to other pins that you've been in. I'm way more tired coming out of this pen. <laughs> you know, him, I'm sure he's very tired too. It's an incredible arena. Incredible. That's a one of a time, once of a lifetime experience. There's no other word. I'm so proud to represent France. Uh, it's been a very long journey. I left my country 15 years ago, worked very hard, and it was one of my dreams. And I kind of put it on my bucket list, and uh, we did it, and I want to do it again. And hopefully, we'll see what the score says, but hopefully we can hold on for Saturday and be back again. But uh, it's an amazing experience, amazing. Congratulations on your run today, and good luck, and hopefully we'll get to see you again. Thank you very much, thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, and, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs. And we'd like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us. You know, horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time. And thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do. And... Uh, uh, with virtual horse help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome guys, thank you Chloe for your time. Thank you and knowledge is power.